Hey guys, it's Stacy from Clothes Live On and today we have another thrift haul. This is one of my better thrift hauls ever. I found some really awesome brands. I found some brands I'd never found before. So we do have some Bolo brands in this video that you haven't heard me talk about before. Some Bolo brands you have heard me mention before, but it might have been a while since you've seen them. So I'm very excited to share it with you guys. We'll just start at the end, work our way down. We'll finish with shoes because a lot of times I do accessories first. Okay, first thing, I actually have mostly stopped grabbing this brand. It just sits longer for me than it used to. And that is Joie. So this is a size extra small, but it just has this really adorable umbrella print. And so specifically for the print, I did want to pick it up, um, give this brand a try again, see how this does. All right, next I grabbed a Madewell top. So it has the little ruffle detailing um, on the sleeves and across the front. Um, and it does button down, but it has hidden buttons down here. Um, yeah, really cute. I liked the style of this. It is from 2017, um, so it's kind of pushing the limits for how old I want Madewell pieces to be. But I just like this one a lot. It's a size small. All right, here's a good brand to be looking out for. This is Weekend by Max Mara. So Max Mara is a nice higher end brand. So um, it's this graphic print dress, black and white. Um, I really like that it has like the contrasting sleeves to the print that's on the front. And this dress is a size six. All right, next is Rebecca Minkoff. I don't really think I've tried selling their clothing so far. Um, I've done their bags before. Their bags can do pretty well. And by the way, this stuff isn't really prepped yet. So some things have like price tags on them and they haven't been steamed. Some of them need to be steamed. So just keep that in mind. Um, but I'm hoping that a lot of this stuff will be listed by the time this video goes up. So it'll be prepped by then. Um, anyway, this is a nice small sweater. It's a cold shoulder sweater. I didn't really look up comps. I just kind of like trusted my gut on this but I don't believe I've ever sold her clothing before so this will be interesting to see how it sells. All right next is Bowden. This is a new with tags Bowden dress. Is it a size 16 long? Um, I like grabbing any sort of like a plus size Bowden and I figured new with tags was a good find. The style isn't necessarily my favorite. I don't think it's like the most trendy style, but I grabbed it anyway. All right, next is Rag and Bone. So these are the zipper capri. So there you go. They have zippers on the inside legs. So they are white. I looked them over. I didn't see any stains. That could change later. Um, they are a size 24 and these are for Intermix. So they are an Intermix exclusive. All right, next is Free People Pants. Um, these are a size extra small. They have the TJ Maxx tag on them. I actually am gonna cut that off and just list them as new without tags. Um, I definitely think just based on the style, they might sit a little longer, but I decided to grab them anyway. A lot of these, I'm just like, let's, let's see how it goes. <laughs> All right, next is another pair of Rag & Bone jeans. Um, these are a size 24, also for Intermix. So they are like a white skinny with the black side panel. All right, next is Everlane, one of my favorite brands to sell, especially their denim. These are a size 25 regular, um, and they are like a skinny style jean, just a medium wash. Next is American Eagle. You guys have been seeing this quite a bit lately. These are the jegging and they are a size six long. These are just like a solid seller for me. I can expect to get kind of around the $20 range for them. So I like to grab them if the price is right. All right, next is Patagonia. So this is like, it has a one button. So it kind of like crosses over itself. I don't know. I'm going to have to see if I can find the style name on this. This is a women's size large, but Patagonia, um, like any sort of their outerwear does really well for me. So even though I'm not familiar with that style, I definitely wanted to grab it. 
All right, another free people. This is like a little tunic. I did notice when I got home that it has a stain on the sleeve, so I'll just note that in my listing. Um, this is a size extra small. I just liked how it like tied at the front. It has these little tassels on it. I thought the style was really cute. I'm a lot pickier with free people than I once was, but it still sells decent for me. It sells a lot better than Anthropology for me personally. Okay, here is an awesome bolo brand. This is Draper James. Definitely a brand worth grabbing if you see it at your thrift stores. This is a Reese Witherspoon brand, and um, the retail is pretty high on this stuff. So this is a really pretty floral print shirt dress. Um, it has the little tie belt to it. It is a size 6. Very excited to find this brand. Alright, next is Collective Concepts. Nothing too exciting, but it is new tags from Stitch Fix. So if I see new tag Stitch Fix, I still do grab that. Stitch Fix definitely doesn't sell as well as it once did, but I will grab anything that's new tags. Alright, next is Florite, which is Anthropology. This is a brand of Anthropology I still gravitate toward in thrift stores just because it usually is a lot more detailed than other pieces. So this is like a crepe kind of thing and it has a lot of beading and sequins and I just thought it was so pretty. So this is a size small. I haven't looked up style name for it yet. And then it has it continued on the back too. Alright, next is Smart Wool, a really good like athletic sort of brand, I guess is how you would describe it almost. Like I think this is something that's carried out like REI and stuff like that. So this is probably like a base layer. It's usually very wicking material. And this is a size medium. It is new with tags. So that was an exciting find. Uh, I'm not seeing the style name right offhand. But yeah, it's just like a green short sleeve shirt. But I know that this will do well. All right, next is a Soul Cycle tank top. I definitely know I won't get a ton for this, but the people who go to these gyms, they like buying branded merch. So, um, you know, this is just like a little graphic print tank top that I bet will only go for like 10 or 15, but I grabbed it anyway. All right, next is Babaton. This is another one that I like this brand, which is why I grabbed it. I don't think I'm gonna get a ton of money out of it. It's just a black V-neck tank top. So it's not anything too exciting, but it's a wardrobe staple. So I think it'll sell, but just not for a lot. But it's a good brand and it's a good piece to have in your closet. Just something that you can wear underneath other things. All right, next we have another Patagonia. This is a women's size small. So just a little red pullover fleece. This is a sought after style in general for Patagonia. So I know that this is going to do really well. All right, another Florite from Anthropology. Again, super beaded, which is why I gravitate toward this brand. This one is like so stunning. Um, so I'm hoping that this does well, even though Anthropology doesn't do as well as it once did. Um, and this is a US size four. I happen to find a second Draper James. I hard, I think I've only found this brand one other time and then I found it twice in one store. So, but this is just a striped little like bell sleeve um, shirt. So nothing super special there, but I always grab that brand if I find it, which I barely ever find it. This is Cabby. This is the current tag with the line on it. Um, pretty solid seller and doesn't go for a lot, but I grab it if it's good condition and a good price. All right, next is Lululemon. Logos here. These are the studio pant. They are like a gray and they are a size 12. The studio pant is a really sought after style. This always sells really well for me. All right, here's a bolo brand I have talked about before, but you haven't seen it in a while, and that is Beta Brand. I don't find Beta Brand a lot. And I wanted to point out on this specific piece that it has their logo here. So this is the Beta Brand logo. If you ever find Beta Brand shoes, it might not say Beta Brand. It might just have this logo. So it's good to be familiar with their logo. This is a hooded like scuba material dress. So I don't know much about it other than that, but I was not gonna pass up on Beta Brand and this is a size small. 
Next is Everlane. This is just a little chambray button down, a size medium. All right, Madewell. This is a size medium. It's a three quarter sleeve, little ruffle sleeve striped shirt. All right, I, these are some last chance pieces, by the way. I grabbed a bunch of Show Me Your Moo Moo dresses. So this one is a wrap style dress. So it's also like a high-low. It's more of like a maxi in the back, but it's shorter in the front. Um, size medium, if I didn't already say that. All right, this is one that I wasn't sure if I wanted it. It is also Free People from Last Chance. So I do know based on it being Last Chance that it's gonna be a more current style, but I just know that also this particular style is probably gonna sit in my closet a little longer just because Free People tops don't sell as well for me, especially like a button down top. But I grabbed it anyway. We're gonna give it a shot. Why not? It's a size extra small. All right, I have a few of this same dress from Show Me Your Moo Moo. So this one's a size small and it's like this um, beigey kind of color. Just, it is a v-neck maxi dress. All of these are, like I said, the same. So we have one size small that is a black, same dress. And then I have a navy blue size large of that same dress. All right. A really exciting brand, another bolo, is Zach Posen, a high-end designer, stuff retails for a lot, a lot of money. I believe he was a Project Runway judge for a while. Um, so this is just a purple dress that does have like shoulder pads to it, the v-neck, really well constructed. It has a lot of detailing at the waist, which I'm sure is very flattering. So this is a size six. I need to do more research on what I plan to price it at, but I was so excited to find this. And then another really exciting brand that I found is Victoria Beckham. This is not the Target line. Her Target line actually kind of killed the brand a little bit, but her actual stuff retails for a lot of money. This is gorgeous. It's almost like a tuxedo style to it. Um, I need to do research on this some more too, but it has like zipper detailing all down the side. It's just, it's stunning. Um, I don't actually know the size of this offhand. I might have to measure it for size, um, but I was really excited to find this. We'll see how these two brands do because I've never found them before. All right, next is another Lululemon. These are crops and crops don't always do the best for me, but I really liked this floral print to it. So I grabbed these even though I don't really love crops and these are a size six. Next is Lily Pulitzer. This is a size medium, just a little blue dress, a very Lily Pulitzer print in my opinion. All right, next we have Free People jeans. I typically don't pick up Free People jeans. I like the style of these. I like the zippers on the front and the feel of these is like they were never worn. Oh, and these are a size 28, by the way. Next is a Rails dress. This is a size extra small. I have sold this dress before. Rails doesn't do as good as it used to. It used to sell for easily $40 to $50. I don't really expect that price point anymore. I think this might sell for more like in the $25 range. All right, here's another awesome, awesome bolo brand. This is C New York. If you ever find this, this is also one to grab. This is new with tags, which is so exciting. It is a sleeveless ruffle tunic. Um, I'm having trouble finding comps on this, but I know I'm gonna list it high. Uh, super pretty. I was ecstatic to find this and at not a buy sell trade store, which is maybe where I might more expect to find this brand, but just at a Goodwill, super happy about that. All right, next I grabbed Rebecca Taylor. This is a size four. It is just a black dress, but I like the leather paneling. I'm not sure if it's actual leather or faux leather. I haven't looked at the materials yet. And then it has the exposed zipper in the back. All right, and last piece of clothing is American Eagle jeans. These are high rise jeggings and they are size four. Like I said, just a pretty solid seller for me. I love grabbing that style. 
All right, now we're gonna move on to shoes and I have one necklace to show before that. So I bought this bow necklace and it is a Kate Spade necklace. I definitely won't be able to show you that but it has the Kate Spade tag on it. Super tempting to keep this for myself but I know that someone else will probably wear it a lot more than I will. All right, next up is Dansko. So these are not Dansko clogs. They are more like a slip-on sneaker kind of style. These are a size 38. The soles are a little dirty. I'm gonna try and clean them up before I list them. Next, we have AGL shoes, a really awesome brand. These are a size 37 and a half. They have the little snakeskin detailing on the toes and a little block heel. I think these will do really well because I know like animal prints are very on trend right now. All right, next I have Sam Edelman booties. I'm a little picky with Sam Edelman, but you are going to see more of Sam Edelman in this haul. Um, it just doesn't sell for a lot, but their boots and booties do better for me than their sandals. Um, these are a size 9. In spite of saying that, I grabbed a pair of Sam Edelman sandals. I have sold this style before though, so I know that I can sell them. They're a size 7, which happens to be my size, but I know I don't need more sandals. Um, yeah, so just... I think they're called like the Desi style. Yes, on here it says that they are the Desi style. All right, one of my favorite shoe brands as of lately is Loeffler Randall. It's been a really solid seller for me. So these are a really cute little gingham print. They look like, like a picnic tablecloth. So cute. They are size seven and a half. Next, I grabbed Jeffrey Campbell. I have sold these before, so, and they sold really fast within a few days. These are a size six and a half. And the last thing in this haul is Sam Edelman knee-high boots. Um, so like I said, multiple Sam Edelman. These, I hope they'll either sell really fast or they might sit a while because we're coming to the end of boot season. So, um, but I grabbed them anyway because the price was good. And these boots are a size six and a half. So that is everything I grabbed when I went thrifting. Tons of awesome stuff. I haven't had a haul this good in a while. I was so excited to find some brands that I had never sourced before and some brands that I have sourced before, but they're just so good and I don't find them very often. So if you guys liked this thrift haul, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.